Hi, I'm Filippo Maria Caggiani for ParoleDiMusica.com. Today I'm in front of Barometer. It's a very nice uh, music club in Warsaw and uh, tonight we'll play Nick Sinclair. Let's go in and let's see what he's going to play. Basically, you mix uh, different parts of songs together. Yeah. And so, for example, you take the melody of a song, the harmony of another song, and the lyrics of another song. How is it possible for you to mix everything without getting confused? Well, the thing is that I have so many songs in my head, and sometimes when they're playing a certain type of music, I just, uh, I'm just like, oh, this song can work, and also this song. And it just, it just comes. I'm like, oh, I can also do this song. And, it sometimes it's just very sporadic. It's just very on the moment, like, and that's it, it's it's better when it, it's better when it's like that for me. I don't know. It always works well when it's when it's just really spontaneous, I like spontaneity. <laughs> so it's kind of improvisation, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. It's actually. I mean, because we do like normal songs, like the whole song, the original song. But I love to improv because it's it because there's so there's so many songs that are just out there and I'm like in, in so many songs that I love to sing and sometimes I forget them and then certain chords they just allow me to to oh my god I, there's a song I forgot <laughs> and then I ended up singing it yeah so yeah very improvisational jam but the What is your music background? Uh, did you study some jazz uh, with improvisation, this kind of things, or it's something? Well, you know what? I I um, I didn't study jazz, and my dad played jazz all the time at home. I mean, my my family. I mean, they always played jazz, R and B, soul, uh, calypso, because my family comes from the Caribbean, and um, and and but normally I sing like house and dance, funk and soul, and yeah, I mean, it just makes me wild and crazy but but then jazz is like I always always remember like when, when I would come home from my grandmother's house and my dad would always put on the jazz station and it would always make me go to sleep but I would always hear I would always listen to the songs and so they're always in my head but yeah that's how I that's how I got to know jazz from my father yeah Take my 
Can you tell me something about uh, your history, how it came that you arrived to Poland? Yeah, well, very long story short. Well, I was doing music in New York. I was singing for a couple of bands and then in 2005 I started my own project where I, I did, uh, I, cause I always wrote songs, I always wrote my own songs. Uh, music would be with a friend of mine and I always wrote another, just the lyrics myself. And then in 2005, I debuted my project, and they were like, oh, it's great. And then, but I was really bored in New York. I know everyone's like, how could you be bored in New York? But I was just, but I needed something new, something different. So I opened the map of Europe, and I was like, I knew I wanted to go to Europe. I was like, so I opened the map, and I was like, oh. and then I went to Munich. I would, so I went to Munich and lived there for a while. And right before everything got started going, like up and up, my friend from Warsaw was like, well, come to Warsaw because there's not many vocalists here like you. And I was like, okay. And then I came to Warsaw and I did this program in like two, well, I started singing with a, a, a very famous Polish artist called Natalia Kukluska. And, um, and then I did this program called Fabrika Kwiast Star Academy. It's here in, in Poland. And then um, after Star Academy, then things went Woo, up and up and up and so now I'm here in Poland and doing shows in Poland and Russia and Italy and I'll be in France this weekend and like it's crazy I mean it's, it's wonderful it's wonderful I mean you just travel the world doing music it's wonderful the next project so now you're traveling around and what the what, next what's the next well the next project is uh, my next single which is going to be released in May it's a it's a dance single called good times because I love pot I love happy music so all my music is very happy and um, it's called good times and then the second single after that is going to be turn it out and then my album comes out which is going to be it's going it's called featuring Nick single yeah okay. so, <laughs> All the best. Congratulations. Thank you. Very much. Thank Thank you. Very much. Bye.